Hi beautiful souls, it's Tim Wilde and uh, welcome to the Friday Ascension update and uh, I know actually quite, I've put out quite a bit this week, there was Meditation Monday and then I got very prompted to write the article on Tuesday about the, um, what I, the only way I could describe it is the, the collapse of the astral. So there's been a little bit of extra goings on and, and a little bit of extra information kind of going out there at the moment. But what I want to focus on really at the moment is how we as light workers are kind of, we're, we're, ent we're entering the, the what, what, is, what appears to be like the final corridor of of intensity before December the 21st. Now, the more I more I look at it, the more I hear about December the 21st, the more important it is becoming. And the cosmic moment, the 21st of December 2012, which was which was a significant date in the Mayan calendar, the Mayan calendar, was the shift from 3D to 4D. It was the it was the the day that literally the one energy finished and another energy begun but what we're going to experience in December is a lighting up of cosmic proportions uh, that, that we've never experienced it's um, it's almost like we are entering a completely different octave of light that is coming in from the great central suns now over the course of the years, I've kind of identified seven spiritual suns or main suns that we are kind of very connected to. And it's almost like the old, one of the, one of the, the older sources of light that we've been kind of accustomed to for a very long period of time is going to be suddenly switched off and, and turned into, to, and, and the much higher one is going to become available. And as with the majority of spiritual experiences that we have, this is going to, it's, it's, there's not going to be a lot of build up. There's not going to be a lot of preparation for us. It's going to be literally in from, <laughs> in, into the phase without any kind of, any, any kind of like, you know, ceremony, bells or whistles. All of a sudden, we're going to be in that field of energy. Now, all of the preparation, that we are experiencing at the moment, all of the chaos. It's, um, it could only be described as, as just like almost if the dotting of the I's and the crossing of the T's, it's, um, there is, the magnitude of it is so great that it's almost a little bit difficult for me to express into words. All I can do from my perspective, as I see my role and my job on this planet is to help prepare people as much as possible, prepare myself and just be aware and be in the correct energy bandwidth that, that we need to be for this great switch over. The brilliant thing is the majority of us are already there. We're already vibrating at this higher frequency. We're already, we're already kind of accustomed to this very high light that, that that comes in and has been coming in for the last the, the last eight years or so the last eight to ten years so we're not going to feel anything anything kind of untowards or different than we're already used to but as usual the effects are going to be seen all around us now we're, we're experiencing this huge shift at the moment and i think the majority of the majority of the the stuff that we're experiencing is really kind of, it could be classified as quite stressful because we've got all of these things going on in the news the media society the governments are trying to lock us down and and the whole the whole pandemic thing and i always say that in inverted commas because i'm sure the majority of you out there now realize sort of like what it, what is actually going on the greater picture of it all and there's only so many times that I can say, hold the faith, hold the light. You know, you know what the drill is now. It's stay in your highest frequency at all times. Of course, we're going to get pulled one way and then we're going to get pulled the other. There's, um, there's so many of us out there at the moment that have got kind of friends and relatives and family and, and, and even soul and soul groups, part of our soul groups who are really being affected by this energy. 
Now, when you get a very high quantity of light shining into a place at one time, all of the shadows are revealed. So this is what happened in the astral over the course of the, on Friday and Saturday, the, the, the scenario that I saw that I described in the video and, and in the article that I wrote was nothing short of just a, a reclaiming. Okay, there's, if you look at the world that we've been living in for the last 10,000 years, the way I see it is the earth has been, a, it's been a school. Okay, so we have incarnated again and again with our, with our karma, with our lessons, with our, with our soul contracts with a very specific with, with a very specific set of learning circumstances and by the end of this year that those that learning plane that particular school is going to be shut down or has been shut down it's in the process of closing at the moment and again i see the, the way i see this is this is why we are experiencing all of this in, this incredible chaos around us it's the only way to describe it and and uh, years ago and some of you might have already heard this story when i was prepared for this mission or preparing for this mission serapis bay said to me sort of like no matter what happens look for the miracles within the madness now all of it if, if you if you're tuning into the main field out there what you will experience is fear okay the fear levels are going up very, very high at the moment. There's so many of us who are uncertain about our futures. Are we going to be kind of marching our way into a kind of like a totalitarian dictatorship or are we going to actually succeed and move us all into the light? Earlier on in the year, I kind of identified two very distinctive outcomes or two very distinctive timelines that are running simultaneously alongside each other. And we kind of we we kind of bounce between the two, depending on kind of where we are energetically, where our thoughts are being focused. So there is going to be a learning plane for people to continue to learn at 3D if that's what they wish to do so. You know, this the, this was established a long time ago that although we are part of this very this very exciting move to 5D, um, not every single soul on the planet is wishing to or is ready on a soul level to make that shift. The majority are. Okay, the numbers that were given to me in 2008 were that six billion people were moving through the Ascension Gateway. They're going, you know, like, yay, we're, we're doing it. We're, we're moving to 5D. But that kind of leaves 1.7 billion potentially that aren't going to be quite ready to make that shift when we do. Not saying that they won't do it. I'm just saying that at that particular designated time, they they will still or may still possibly have lessons to learn so that's that's kind of where we're heading at the moment but december the 21st is colossal monumental i know you hear of um me and other spiritual kind of spiritual presenters teachers talking about all of these colossal dates that are in the spiritual calendar but this really is a big one if the it's imagine you have a bedroom or a room in your house that's lit a certain way and you've basically taken all the electrics out of that room you've redecorated it and you've rewired it and you've put new lights in there and these new lights are very much brighter they're much bigger this is kind of what's going on at the moment so it's like the old light the old lighting system is being switched off and rewired and the new one is going to go on and all of this is happening in a very very short space of time like most of the things so when this light switch goes on it's going the quantity of of spiritual light that is going to be available to us or literally constructing the fabric of our reality it's going to be much much higher than it was previously and we're ready for it you know this is this is what we've trained for this is what we've cleansed for this is what we've done all of that nitty gritty hard grindy shadow work for you know we 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 are simply ready to step into our higher roles and 
I don't think there's many of us out there that are still kind of wondering what our place is on this planet. We are finding it. And if you haven't found it at the moment, that you're going to be finding it very soon as, as the call to do what you have incarnated to do is made very available. It's made, you know, it's, it's, it's there. It's, it's completely in our faces. So yeah, at the moment, be the eye in the storm. Okay. There's, there's, you know, we each of us have the capability of creating a very large field of very powerful and very stable energy around us. Crystals help. You know, where, wherever I go, I carry a crystal with me. My house is a, my house is adorned with crystals, and each one of them has a specific program. Say you're out and about, and you're kind of out in this what feels to be a field of chaos. Everyone's kind of walking around with their masks on. There's a lot of fear in the air. In the UK, they're kind of imposing like these tier one, tier two, tier three lockdowns and everything like that. As far all of this, although it's happening in my reality has gone over the top of my head since the beginning of the year. I'm aware of it. I've had to participate to it in a certain degree because obviously like I exist within this, this physicality, but as much as I've, as much, you know, my, my spiritual discipline has been put to the test because I simply have not allowed it to interfere with the way that I function as, as best as I possibly can. Obviously like this is, this is going to be putting all of you to the test. I know that some of you are living in, in very difficult circumstances in countries like Australia and um, the UK is following very rapidly behind it. But all of this is simply what I would describe as the, the kind of, it's a little bit you know, like, like I said in the previous video, it's a little bit like when the queen, what, when the, when the queen wasp leaves the nest and the workers have no, they're, they're rudderless, they've got no direction. And so they, the, their behavior becomes crazy. This is what we're seeing at the moment. Lots and lots of, uh, lots and lots of kind of crazy rudderless. The only way, to, that's the only way to describe it is rudderless. It's almost like everything's kind of proceeding but there's no there's no real energy or weight behind it it's all of these different kind of factions that should be communicating with each other but they're not and they're, they're increasingly beginning to trip up over each other the rules and regulations are getting increasingly silly and the people that are orchestrating it are in a state of abject panic because they realize that everybody everybody's waking up or everybody has woken up and the people that haven't woken up yet are likely to wake up very very shortly so i'm despite what is going on i am still retaining a incredible level of optimism and it's a little bit like just sitting back watching the show watching it all roll out but being very involved with it on an energy level and if you're required to speak if you're required to step up if you're required to do your bit then do it. Whatever you are being called to do, make sure that you do it and that every single molecule of yourself is present when you do so, because that's what we're here to do. So that is pretty much it for, for the Friday Ascension update. Expect, expect the unexpected, okay? The energies, the energies that are coming in are just building and building and building up. And so by the by December the 21st, we are going to be lit up like proverbial Christmas trees. And here comes the rain. That was good timing, wasn't it? Happy days. <laughs> Sending you all lots of love from my garden in the south of England. And if there's any anything that comes up that's um, really kind of really needs reporting or breaking down or, or, or talking about, then you, you will see me appear again on the Ascension page. Lots of love. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.